All right, so smartphones. Can't really live without them, but the battery doesn't seem to last all day depending on what you're doing. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some great battery backup solutions to make sure that this guy survives from sun up to sun down. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? It's Crazy Dog here and first off, welcome back. I hope you guys are enjoying the new studio. It looks good, it feels good, and we're going to get the ball rolling here with some new content starting with some battery backup. So again, like I said before, smartphones are very important, whether it's media consumption, uh, just social media itself, I guess that's still kind of media consumption, productivity, using it for business, using it for phone calls, or maybe catching some Pokemon. We rely on these things all the time and we can never seem to live without them. The issue is we want smaller and smaller phones, but then that's also reducing the abilities we have to add bigger batteries. One solution is to grab yourselves a battery backup to make sure that you can give yourself either a small or a large charge midway through the day when it's convenient for you to make sure that you're giving your phone a little bit of a kick so it lasts you the rest of the day until you're ready to go to bed, plug it in, and start the next day all over again. So starting with the smallest solution first, let's take a look at this. This is a battery backup made by Prime Cables. You guys know I love Prime Cables. We have a great working relationship and honestly, they make some pretty good products. So this guy here is a 4,000 milliamp battery, nice and small. You would be able to fit this in your jeans pocket, provided you're not too much of a hipster and it's really not going to affect the way that you deal with your day-to-day -day life. If not, throw it in a jacket, throw it in a book bag, ladies, throw it in your purse. Either way, it's a very small footprint and you're gonna be able to go about your business without this ruining your day. Now this is a single USB, it's a one amp, and this will provide you with about a full to maybe 1.2, 1.25, uh, of a charge. The reason why I say that is we'll round it out to being about 3,000 milliamps is going to be the standard battery size on phones. Some might be 2,800, some might be 3,500, but on average we could say about 3,000 to 32. So 4,000, going to get you at least one full charge, if not a little bit more. Other than that, the inlet there for the charging, you can charge this guy itself. It charges via regular micro USB, the cables included in the box there, and... Not only can you check how much juice it has, but if you double click, it's gonna give you a little bit of flashlight. Nothing too, too bright, but it's gonna get you by if by chance you need to maybe put your keys in the door from a late night of catching Pokemon and it's dark outside. So again, flashlight, one full charge, link in the description if you guys wanna pick this up. This is probably my favorite, again, just because of the footprint and the size. I really, really like it. But let's take a look at something that's a little bit bigger. Maybe something you could share with a friend. So this guy is made by Belkin, and this is a 6,000 milliamp. Now you're going to notice that this, right off the bat, looks a little bit more attractive. The one thing that I like about Prime Cables is they're an online company. They're not on store shelves, so they can really go with a more minimalistic approach and save some money on the packaging to give you guys, the consumer, the best bang for your buck and also put a little bit more of that money into the product itself. For Belkin, they sit on store shelves, so they need to be attractive, they need to catch your eye and really bring you into what they have to offer. And that's why it looks so damn good. So let's get into this guy here. And I have actually sort of played with this already. I cheated a little bit, but I can tell you guys, this is extremely premium. Really hard to get out of here. Come on, there we go. All right, so with this guy here, it's a beautiful, would you call that gold? Maybe a rose gold, I'm partially colorblind. So I would say maybe that's like a like a platinum gold. It's, it feels like it's some sort of metal because it's very cold in my basement. So that's really nice. I think this thing would take a licking and keep on ticking as far as how strong it is. You've got your battery indicator right there on the top. No flashlight, but you will notice that it actually has dual USB. Now, this serves two purposes. One is a one amp, one is a 2.4. 2.4 is gonna give you quick charging to make sure that if your phone's almost dead, it doesn't have to be plugged in as long to really accept a full charge. 6,000 milliamps, again, going under the assumption that we're charging a 3,000 milliamp battery, it will get you about two full charges. So. 
if you and a fellow trainer, if you're out catching Pokemon, you and a spouse, maybe you're out on a trip in the car, you don't have a car charger, or maybe you're out in the wilderness for some reason, I'd uh, take this guy, because that will give you about two full charges. Really good build quality, really solid. Link will be in the description below if you guys want to pick this up. But the next one, the next one's going to take you across a whole weekend, or maybe just a day of playing Pokemon Go. This guy is made by Powerade. Not to be confused with the drink company, this is entirely different. Though that would be pretty cool if they made battery backups. But this guy here is a 20,000 milliamp battery. And I tell you, it is hefty. Let's open this up here. Take that out. So here we go. This thing is huge. And like I said before, just trying not to cover up my face here because this, this is big. Uh, with the Prime Cables one, again, it's very small. You can comfortably fit it into your pocket. This guy here, not so much. Maybe in your back pocket, again, if you're out, catch a Pokemon. I say that because it's just, it's the one thing that kills batteries more than anything. Whether or not people are still playing it, I gave up after about a month, but that's just me. If you guys are playing it, this is probably going to be your best friend. Uh, you could take this for a whole weekend camping as well, using basic math and the assumption that batteries are 3000 milliamps this should get you almost seven charges you have the two usbs on the top again one is a one amp one is a 2.4 amp and that will give you that quick charge you're looking for you've got the inlet there for charging and this button right here will both give you your battery indicator which is right on the front or if you hold it again a flashlight not very bright but Enough, again, that you'll be able to see a little bit better in complete darkness. Now, this one will take quite a while to charge. On a full charge, well, actually, sorry, from empty, it will take maybe about, I would say, six to eight hours to completely charge. So, quite a bit of time, but honestly, if you charge this overnight before going on a trip for the weekend or anything like that, this thing will get you through. It's very hard plastic. There's no metal or anything in it like uh, we saw on the Belkin unit. So probably not quite as durable, uh, but it's very budget. It's not very expensive for what it is. I picked this guy up on Amazon and I'll link it in the description below if you guys want to check it out as well. So let's do a quick recap of all three. We'll display them all side by side. We'll see a visual comparison and I'll let you guys be the judge and, uh, See which one would be perfect for you guys. Let's take a look. All right, so here they are. So we've got the big behemoth, 20,000 milliamps. We got the little guy, which is about 6,000. And we got the baby, which is just 4,000. Single charge, probably two, up to seven, providing again their phones. All of these will work with tablets. This guy here probably will not fully charge a tablet because the batteries are quite big on those. Again, tablets are are big, so that's just, they've got bigger batteries. What can I say? This guy here, again, probably one full charge on a tablet, maybe a little bit more. This guy here, probably around four times for a tablet. So let me know in the description below which one you guys would get and why. And also, if you've made it this far and haven't done so already, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Like I said, we kind of took a little bit of a hiatus, we built this new set, and we're ready to hit the ground running with some more content. So until the next time, guys, my name is Crazy Dog. you guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.